In this video, I'm going to show you cleaning up and deleting unused files in Reaper. I have a project set up here where I've already recorded a bunch of tracks, some drums, bass, guitars, and vocals. Now that I'm happy with it, I want to delete any unused files I'm not using. Now keep in mind, we don't have to do this. Hard drive space is pretty cheap, so you can keep everything if you want. But if you want to delete any files you didn't use, this is how we'll do it. Because in Reaper, nothing gets deleted from a hard drive. If we record it and delete it later, like if I go to my base and delete all these files, they're still on my hard drive, taking up space even if we're not using those files. So if we want to delete the unused files, we'll go up here to the file menu and choose Clean Current Project Directory. And that opens up this dialog where we could see all the files that we're not using in our project, but were still created or used at one point in this project. We could hit explore to see where they are on our hard drive. For me, they're in the media folder right here. And we could delete them just by selecting all and hitting this button to remove the selected files. But before we do that, I recommend one extra step. I'll go to the file menu and choose Save Project As. Now you've probably saved this project already at this point, but either way, this step is worth doing before deleting unused files. I'll go over here and choose this option, which will copy all media into the project directory. In this case, this folder right here, named Media. Here are all the files that are currently being referenced from this project. But sometimes they might come from different folders. So you want to put all the files together or at least copy them so they're all in the same place. So we'll choose this option, which will copy all media that are being used into this folder. And then we'll hit save, either with a new name or the same name. I use the same name, so it's going to replace the original project. And now I'll go back to my hard drive. Here's that folder and the project we just saved with all the media that are in this folder. And we can see there's a whole bunch, a lot more that I'm currently using. But before we delete the unused files, I like to back up this folder, either to an external drive or uploaded to a Dropbox or cloud, just in case we need them again. And once that's done, we can go back to Reaper. And now we can go to the file menu, Clean Current Project Directory, and now we could delete those files. Now there's two different ways we could delete them. When this is off, it's going to delete them from our hard drive, or if we choose this option, it's just going to move them to the trash. This way, if you notice something wrong right away, we can quickly get it back. So I'd recommend choosing this option and deleting your trash when you're sure everything is okay. Then just hit Select All. It selects all the files and remove them right here. Hit OK. And we notice nothing changed in our project. All the files we used are still here. But now, if we go back to a hard drive and we go into the media folder, there's a lot less files than before. Before, it looked like this with almost 130 audio files taking up room on our hard drive. Now it looks like this with only about a dozen because these are the only files we're using in this project. All those other ones were unused passes that we deleted or chose not to use at some point. So it will make our project folder size smaller as it only contains the files we're actually using in this project. And now, if we go back to that same dialog, we could see there's no files to clean up because just the files that we're using are now in our media folder right here. So that's pretty much it. That's cleaning up and deleting unused files in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.